Hello fellows and welcome to the first episode of Tiger Tactics with Tigers RC. This is a new series that I will be posting every Wednesday that is based off of myself playing PvP games on either the Respawn Network or the Play Minecraft server, both IPs will be down in the description, where I analyze both my own and my opponent's strategy. When I'm not analyzing their strategy, I will be talking to you guys about my YouTube channel and any updates and new things to come. So today I'll be playing the game right behind me, Point Runner, which is basically spleef with a point-based twist. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Point Runner lobby. In this game, you run around and the blocks behind you disappear. Each of the blocks that you run over gives you a different point total and the person with the most points at the end of the game, either when the time limit runs out or when everybody dies, is the winner. So coal is one, iron two, gold three, redstone four. For some reason lapis is worth more than redstone. I never understood that. But lapis is five, Diamond is 6, and emeralds are 7. Seeing as emeralds have the most point value, and diamonds are really high as well, a recommended strategy would be just to go for those two. So, let's actually join a game. Here we are in one of the point runner maps. And the thing with this map is that this area over here is actually a full three deep. So as you run over it, you can get to the emeralds that are underneath and keep on running over it and get a whole ton of points. So looks like we're going to start in just a sec. So sit back and enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to start off in these corners, running over all the diamonds. You can see that that gives me a ton of points on the right side. So, typically this game can get pretty fast paced. Ooh, it looks like somebody just died. Um, I think that that was a tough spot right there. I'm gonna just slow down a little bit and spread myself out. Alright, here we are. This is another corner. And I think that we can get quite a few of these. So, here we go. Here we go. Alright, this this guy has some pretty good sustain. I think I'm going to win simply because of the large point total, but this guy's doing very well. Looks like he died. I don't want to keep everybody waiting and angry at me, so I'm going to die too. It's always nice if you die when everybody's done. Okay, so this is Point Runner. Here we are in another map. So while I play this one, I think that I'll talk a little bit more about some of the other series. Obviously this one I'm going to analyze everybody's play style. For instance, running right at each other like that is probably not a good idea. But, um... I'm also going to try to publish quite a few other series. Yep, there I go. <sighs> um, just this guy left. Let's see if he can get up to my point total. Probably. I'm going to try to publish quite a few more series. A grand total of five series, including this one, that um, each focus on a different type of game. Four of them that are in Minecraft and one of them that is not. 
So first off, I'm going to make a Minecraft Let's Play. If you haven't seen it already, I published a a trailer for this Minecraft Let's Play that is pretty cool. I must say, I woke up one morning and had an idea and went with it, and it worked out great. So, um, the Minecraft Let's Play has me pretty excited, seeing as I will be doing quite a bit of technical Minecraft and magnificently over redstone using builds. Stuff like ridiculously efficient mob farms, as well as maybe even an in-game calculator of some sort. But not only am I going to be making magnificent redstone builds that are really big, um, I will also be making some really awesome architectural builds. Stuff that looks really good. So, hopefully, that will turn out really well. No. Alright, there we go. Let's see if this guy can catch up. Nope, looks not. Okay. Oh, good game all around. Um, so, that is going to be quite a bit of fun. I'm going to post those weekly every Saturday, I believe, so that you guys can always see some really great redstone and architecture. Alrighty, the thing with this map is that after you get the emeralds in the center, the most powerful things are the diamond and lapis in these four corners. If you can get those, then you have pretty much got it made. After you get those, or if you miss them, you can go down to the outer ring and get the gold that's on the lowest tier. I am going to be publishing two informative series that will help out beginners and pros alike. One of them will be simply a tutorial series. The other one will be called Tiger Tips. And the both of these will be published bi-weekly every other week on Mondays. The Tiger Tips is based off of um, helping beginners with some of the practical skills of Minecraft. Like surviving your first day and stuff like that. Surviving your first day is one of the big ones. Um, mining. Mining efficiently. Mining to get diamonds, etc. Um, how to look at your F3 screen is another idea. So that's going to be interesting. If you guys have any ideas for either of the those two series, tutorials or tips, I would be deeply obliged. Post it down in the comments and I'll take a look to see what I can do. So, both of those are going to be a ton of fun. Um, and the last series, probably one of the more unique, at least for a Minecraft channel, seeing as it isn't Minecraft, is a Cube World Let's Play. If you haven't heard of Cube World, I'll post some links down in the description to a great trailer for it, um, as well as the Cube World website. The game is voxel-based like Minecraft, but instead of based off of um, collecting resources and building, wow, that was a quick game. Instead of based off of collecting resources and building, it's based off of RPG style gameplay. So its PvP mechanisms are a lot better than uh, Minecraft's in general. However, it's still in 
alpha instead of uh, an actual release. So there are still some rough edges to the game, and so yeah. But check it out. It's a ton of fun to play, and I'd highly recommend it. So, um, yeah, that just about covers all that I wanted to talk about. I think I'm gonna see if I can get another win right here. Looks like everybody is doing magnificently well. Okay. Spoke too soon. But I must say, these people are not bad at this. There are some games where you go in there and it's like, how can I lose? because everybody dies right at the beginning. But um, these people are actually pretty good. You can tell he's racking up the points pretty quickly. That was close. That was a close one. All right, this is getting pretty tense. Yep, there we go. Wow, that was a good game. Oh, congratulations, mister. You did really well. All right, here we are. This one, a lot of people find annoying because you start on these diamond blocks, you have to run, jump, and then this jump gets a lot of people. It's like two and a half blocks over and one block up, so it's not too bad. But it is not easy. And then what you really want to do is just get those emeralds. I derped up there. That was actually just because of a lag spike, I think. But you, you want to get the emeralds by running around this outer edge and not go into the middle. Because once you go into the middle, you... Yeah, it, it's not any points in here, and it doesn't work. So, anyway, that was fun, guys. Hope to see you next time. Um, I think I'll be playing some Gold Rush next time. So, stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching, fellows. So, until next time.